Hello, building chillers and chill builders. Welcome to another episode of me doing something random. I bought this Ryzen 3600 XT the other day off of the Facebook market, and as you can see, there's some paste in the pins. This happens when you put the paste on the wrong side of the CPU. So, I guess a lot of people do that because they don't have a clue what's going on. What you're going to need to clean this off, maybe, is some 99% isopropyl alcohol, which you can order online. You're going to definitely need a toothbrush and a cheap one. Plain bristles, soft bristles, no fancy plastic pieces or gum massagers or anything like that. You'll also probably want a board or something that's easily destroyed because if you use the alcohol on something where alcohol might damage the surface finish and spill it, then you'll be sad and it will be a big waste. So the first thing I'm going to do here is take this toothbrush and I'm going to brush the thermal paste that's in the pins away from the rest of the CPU towards the edge of the CPU. I'm doing that right now towards that one side and I'll also go to the other nearest side in a minute. But I'm lifting up the toothbrush and only brushing away from the CPU. I'm also being very careful not to put too much pressure down and I'm doing this by feel very gently actually so that I know I'm not bending or breaking any pins. Which, they're pretty tough compared to the toothbrush bristles, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But you should be gentle. You only need enough pressure to get the bristles to that green part of the PCB. Uh, not much more than that. You don't need to press hard. So that actually looks pretty good. And I would say I'm just done right there and put it in, but let's do the alcohol just for show. So I'm just pouring it right on there, and what I'm doing is kind of adding a solvent to pick up any more sticky parts of thermal paste or anything that might have just gotten in there and I didn't quite get with the toothbrush the first time. And I'm going to agitate it with the toothbrush and brush the same way as I did before to try and push any thermal paste debris out of the CPU. And I did get a little bit more with that, so that was kind of helpful. The next thing I've got to do is get rid of all this excess alcohol, which will eventually evaporate, and I can wipe off the top of the CPU, but the pins, obviously, I can't wipe them. I'll just bend them off. So instead, I'm going to use a can of compressed air and just blow away the rest, and you'll see how fast it evaporates away or gets ejected from the CPU as I do this. It's pretty impressive. And at that point... I think it's pretty safe to uh, to install this once you don't see any like changes in moisture in the CPU as you blow the, the air across it. And it looks pretty dry to me right now. Uh, of course, I can hit the top too and you see how it's just instant gone. Now, if it's not instantly dry, you're still going to want to blow the excess out of it and then let it sit for a while until you're sure that it's dry. Here you can see it's installed in my ITX system and runs perfectly. I forgot to set the XMP profile, but when you get into Windows and start playing some games, everything's good. Now I want to say that if you had installed this CPU with the thermal paste still on it, as long as it wasn't thermally conductive paste, you probably wouldn't have caused any problems and it would have still worked. You would have just made a mess of your CPU socket which is harder to clean, in my opinion. Uh, so instead, this is, I don't know, this is more of an exercise than just keeping your, your stuff nice. But if it were some kind of thermally conductive paste, then you would really need to get it out of there. And it's better, I think, not to just take a chance and just you know keep it clean. So... Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you or gave you some tips that might you know, help you clean up your CPU. And you shouldn't really be afraid of seeing a little bit of thermal paste in the pins. If someone left it there, you can just clean it up. Have a good day.